Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a picnic table out of a old pallet. And generally I'm just making these smaller kids picnic tables. So yeah, I'm going to kind of go through the steps and show you how I do it. All right, obviously anytime you're working with tools and stuff, you should be using safety glasses. And uh, so I like to use these big skids. They give off a lot of wood. You got a lot of, a lot of options, you know, if you've got some bad pieces in it and stuff. Um, obviously two skids is probably the same as one of these. I think it's the same measurement. Um, and then, so kind of how do you just pull all the boards apart? Um, I like to use this tool here, just a nice little pry bar. And then I also just use like a dead bow mallet. Um, so I'll kind of show you the one way I take these boards off and then I'll show you another way to try. Um, sometimes depending on it, one way works better than the other. So yeah, we'll give you a little visual on that. As you can see, um, kind of got to be a little careful when you're prying that way you don't split the board when it's coming up. Um, often the nails come out with the board, sometimes they pull through like this one here did. That's okay, it's a skid picnic table. Um, generally, I like to take these nails out right away because they're a hazard if you're walking around here, whatever you get a nail in your foot, so pop them out right away. Give them a couple wax. Then I have a little magnetic tray just to toss all my nails into. All right, and then I just like to. Sometimes you have good bad boards and bad boards, so I just like to toss the good ones on a stack somewhere. And if you've got some bad ones, toss them on a different stack. That way you kind of have everything sorted out. We got pretty good, so we'll toss it over there for now. All right, then I'll show you the other way that I like to try it. Sometimes it's quicker, but if the boards are really brittle and stuff, they end up often just breaking. Um, we'll give it a whirl, see what happens. So, flip the skid over. Pop them under the two by fours like so. And then this is the reason why I use a rubber one and not a um, regular um, carpentry hammer. And so yeah, you just kind of hit right here and try to pop the boards down that way. It's much quicker if it works, but sometimes you end up just splitting the boards instead. Let's see how this goes. Just like that. So take your time, kind of evenly hitting it. If you get way up to lunch in either one or either side, then uh, you'll end up splitting it too. This one has a little split in it. It was like that already before I started, so I wasn't too worried about it. If for some reason you do need to keep something like this, you can always put some wood glue in there and clamp it together or whatever. So this one I would still say is a pretty good board. And then again, you just pop the nails out. That way it's uh, Got a safe workspace. All right, it's another day. We're back at it. So I've got the piece, this 
skid all in pieces now. Um, and any nails that came out with these pieces, I pulled out. Sometimes the nails stay in these. As you can see, I got quite a few of these. So kind of the next step that I do then is just go ahead and pull all these nails out. Next up, we're going to kind of sort the good from the bad. Um, these are roughly three and a half inches, so we're using that size. I like to have ten pieces, so it'll be six pieces on the top, two pieces per bench. Um, so yeah, we're going to kind of sort out, see what we can find. Obviously, generally, your best ones are going to be uh, with no cracks, so got a good one here. So then what I like to do is just kind of look at these boards, decide, uh, you know, which side up you want, which side down. You can remember that we're going to sand these, so the rough side up, that can be an interesting design. If that's what you're into. Or if you want a more natural look. This one here is very warped. We'll have fun with that one. Next up, we're going to start looking into the piece that holds these top table boards together. You can either go from edge to edge. Um, I like to just maybe bring it in from the edge a bit. Gives it a little bit of a cleaner look. You don't see uh, coming right out to the edge. So, I don't know, maybe half a quarter inch in. So that would leave me with about 20 and a half inches. So then what I'm gonna do, grab one of these boards and start looking them over, seeing what we can do with some of this. Um, get creative on what parts you use for where and yeah, see how she all goes. All right, so favorite angles for me when building a picnic table are 31.6. Um, that's just kind of where my saw, that's one of my saws stops. The quick, easy settings where it just clicks into place. So around that, Obviously, give or take, I'm sure is fine. But so I use that kind of stop. 31.6 is where I like it. Um, and that's basically the angles I use on every single part of this picnic table. So, first up, we are going to cut an angle on this side. So kind of just want to bring it in so that you don't have a sharp angle right where your legs are going in on the picnic table. Cut a nice kind of 31 degree cut there. So I'm gonna do this way. And it's about to get noisy in here. Up. 
So here we have it, 20 and a half inches. That'll be our first one. Now we need two like this. I like to kind of get a straight edge. So I'll just grab one of these. Flop her over here. So I've got this little bit. Not sure what the fancy term is for it. I like to use it, just kind of make the holes. That way I know where my screws are gonna go. Um, and here you can see it's not quite long enough for both ends to come out kind of like I mentioned before that's intentional um, so you kind of want to center it um, and then the very first screw from the outside instead of you want to make sure you get it in deep enough so you might be about a third of the board in where you want to put your screw this is all rough it doesn't have to be precise so it's uh, nice about these tables so I'm just gonna take go eight inches in from the outside and that's where I'm gonna drill my hole eight inches and you just keep going So we kind of get those holes centered on there. Um, so I get on this end. Get it centered on there. Then we can line up this. That way everything is straight. Kind of measurement we got. I want the same on both ends. Another quarter. Over a quarter. So we're gonna push it down a bit and obviously just be pre as precise as uh, what you want to be. Okay. That looks about centered. Everything's pretty lined up here. We know that the this is centered under our holes. And I take a uh, number eight screw, inch and a half long, and I just put one in each board. The reason for this is because we're going to take it apart again. So let's pop. time to work at this end. Now the majority of these boards are pretty lined up so I think we can just kind of roughly measure in eight inches from this end as well and just punch those holes in at eight inches. up underneath here obviously you're going to want to center it with your screw holes again and then again measure then uh, it's time to pop the screws in tabletop so you can see got a little space here we're not quite up against the edge got the nice angle in there so it's not just straight off 
much more pleasing to the eyes that way. Away we go. All right, next up, we want some legs. With this kind of setup, I like to have a 27 inch leg. And uh, we make them out of these pieces as well. All right, back at the saw. Once again, we're cutting at that same angle, 31.6. And uh, we'll cut those pieces and show you how they look. Should work. You know, get creative. Get creative. This is what this is all about. All right, now it's time to put the legs on. For this stuff, we're gonna use a two and a half inch screw. So this is kind of loose. I think I'll squirt some glue in there, run a screw through it, tighten it up. Make do with what you got, right? This will be at the bottom, so I can really put screws wherever I want. Um, so I'm just going to probably slam two in there, one and one. Hold it together nice and tight, and wipe the glue off. Slide the screw in here first thing, get her started. It's going to make it a lot easier. Now what I like to do is just kind of flatten it up against the top. And then, basically I just try to make this line up with right the bottom corner of this. So right now we got a gap there. Um, it's a little tough to figure out what's exactly flat. Um, it's right about there. This one we've got to put two in or else it'll swivel. Don't want that, so it goes too. Same thing on this side. All right. Then we just go cut two more of the pieces, just like we did this, 27 inches, end to end. Two of them, and pop them on the other side. Next step is the cross piece. Um, I generally use 42 and a half inches, so we're just gonna cut it off of this girl here. And again, just like the pieces that hold this top together, we're gonna cut the um, ends in on an angle. All right, so we've got these two pieces cut now. Um, one side's going to look a little different than the other. That's just the way a uh, skid or pallet picnic tables are, you know. They're made with free wood, so yeah, that's the way it is. Um, I mean, if you had a table saw or something, you could sling her off and make it look good if you want. Um, so now, what I like to do is have the top of this 13 inches off the ground. So basically what I do is I'll measure 13 inches. Right there. Measure the same over here. 13 inches. 24 and a half inches. And we've got 42 and a half inches here, so 42 and a half inches minus 24 and a half inches equals 18 inches. So we gotta go take 18 inches divided by two. The reason we're dividing two is we're trying to find the measurement from here out on each side. So that would be nine inches. So we take this. Mark it at nine inches on both sides. Just 
Now, this line on here, 9 inches here, and the 13 inches here should line up so we can kind of get these right on the corners here. And then we'll toss our screws in there. Right about there. Same thing on the other side. All right, now it's just the final pieces. Plop on the two seats here. I like to use my little countersink drill bit. Obviously, make sure you got the same length on each end here, kind of. So make sure your legs are somewhat straightened out. in here. All right, same thing on the other side. Also, I just put one screw in again because we'll be taking it apart to sand it. Boom, you've got a rough picnic table. All right, guys, back at it again another day. Um, so now the next step that I do is I take it apart piece by piece and sand down each piece um, just to give it a nice smooth texture that way no one's getting any slivers or anything like that because a lot of this pallet wood can be quite rough. Um, so I just use a 60 grit sandpaper, nothing fancy, um, with a palm sander and then I hook up my shot back hooks perfectly onto here which really minimizes the dust that i get off of here um, everything stays quite clean and then the other thing is when i'm taking it apart i'm very intentional about where i put um, each piece because i want to try to remember exactly what piece goes where and how it goes back together because i line up all the holes and put them all right back in the same spot that way it's exactly how we had it before so yeah that's kind of what i do next So I got it all sanded up so now it's just time to toss it all together I kind of put the screws in halfway line up the holes back them out a bit and then put them down through and then also put all the extra screws in where you want them two in each board um, kind of at each spot and then you've got a table <laughs> 